In this tutorial, I'll show you how to cut out a video with a custom mask in Blender's video editor, and then you can, for example, stick the video on top of another image or a video. And so I use this effect in my video where I create the Copper Star Tunes fan art. If you wanna check out that video, link is in the description. And so in that video, I add this overlay here of my face in this corner with a little circle as the video. So in a new scene in Blender, I wanna click on File, and I wanna click on New, and I'm gonna open up a new video editing workspace. So here in the video sequence editor, I'm just gonna drag in my face video right here that I use for the recording of the video. And then I can just drag it over here by selecting the strip and hitting G to grab, and I'll drag it here to the starting. So now what I wanna do is create the masks. So what I'm gonna do is click here in the corner and click and drag, and that is going to split the window. Then I'm gonna click here to change the editor type, and we're gonna change it to the movie clip editor. And for now, let's hit the T key to close the side panel and the N key to close that side panel so we have more space. So now what I wanna do is click on the tracking here and I wanna change the mode to masking instead. Then we can click on the open button to open up the video. And I'm gonna to go to the folder where I have the same video and I'm gonna click on it and open clip. So now you can see here's the video and then here is the video in the editor. So if I just scrub through the timeline, you can see they're synced up because this is at the very starting of the video. If I were to move this over, you can see the videos wouldn't be synced up. But if I have this video playing at the very starting of the timeline, you can see the videos are synced up. So now I wanna create a mask. So what I can do is click on add and we can either add a circle or a square. Now I'm gonna add a circle one, so I will click on circle. But this mask can be edited and changed later. So I'm just gonna start by adding a circle so you can see it right down here in the corner but you can hit G to grab you can hit R to rotate and you can hit S to scale so I'm just gonna stick it right there for now so now what I want to do is actually cut out the video in the video editor so that you can only see the video where the mask is. So what you want to do is click here to select the video, and then you want to go here to the modifiers. We're going to click on add modifier, and we're going to add the mask modifier. Now you can either use the strip or mask, but we want to change it to mask. And then if you click here on the mask, you can add the first default mask that we created. So choose mask. And now you can see here, if I play the timeline, you can see that it is transparent in the background, and you're only going to be able to see where the mask is and so I can scale this you can see it's not really adapting or it's not really updating so what I like to do is just hit the space bar to play this we can play that and now I can kind of move it around and you can see it's going to update so if I just hit the space bar to play that it'll kind of update if I scrub it or move the timeline around. Now you can see sometimes it kind of acts kind of glitchy because I moved it around. So an easy way I found to fix this is to just hit G to grab and just slightly move this back and forth. So just move the video around. And now when you play it, you can see it's gonna be updated. So now you can actually customize the mask. So if you want to, you can click and drag these handles to kind of move the handles around. And then you can just move this around here. Let me just move the video in the sequencer to kind of update that. So if you want to, you can create a custom mask shape by just moving around the handles. You you can also hold down the control key and you can click here and that is going to create another one of those mass dots. So you can kind of drag that one around. So I'll hold down control, click here, add another one. Now what you can also do is hit the T key to open up the side panel and there's a few different settings. So you can like move the mask, you can rotate it or scale it, but I like using the shortcut keys of R, and G and S. And then you can also click on the set handle type or use the shortcut key, which is V. So when you hit V or click on set handle type, you can see right down here, I can click on the set handle type and I can change this. But all I'm gonna do is just hit V and then I can change this. You can use auto and that's gonna make everything smooth. You can also use vector and that's gonna make everything really sharp. I like using auto. You can also try the other ones, but I use auto. So what I'm gonna do is just hit X and just delete this and I will click on add and I'm gonna add the circle mask again just because I want it to be a circle and I'll just move it right in here where my face is. Now we can also do if you want to is you can add a feather to the mask so it kind of blends out on the edges. So to do that, you can hit Alt S. So hit Alt S and then you can just move your mouse here and you can bring the feather out. So now if I just hit the space bar to update this, you can see now here it kind of blends the edges so that's really useful if you wanna get that blended look. Now it might be for you that when you hit Alt S or click on the scale feather button, that it might go in instead of out. So to fix this, you can click on switch direction. Now if I click on switch direction, you can see now the feather is inside the mask, so it's not actually making it disappear. So what I'd wanna do is click on switch direction again, and then I can scale the entire thing down and hit Alt S, 
just to scale that feather there. So where the green one is, the green line to the white line, it's going to be blurred in that area. Now, if I want to move this video, like for example, maybe I want to move it in the corner for like the Copper Star Tunes fan art video that I did. If I hit G to grab or R to rotate or S to scale, you can see the mask isn't moving around with the video. So an easy way to fix this is to just select the video strip and you can see the audio strip is also selected because it has that link feature, so they're connected. So that is fine. What I'll do is just select the video and then hit Control G. Control G is going to join it into a meta strip and you can hit the tab key to go in and out of the meta strip. So now that it's joined together into a meta strip, I can hit S to scale, R to rotate, or G to grab, and I can just scale this down and stick it here in the corner. So I'll just drag this down to make the mask editor smaller and I'll just stick it there in the corner. So if I'm like doing a creation process video where I want to have my face in the corner, I can just stick that right there. And then of course I can just drag in some sort of video. So what I can do is just drag and drop here this video and this is from the sculpting time lapse. So there's the video, I'll hit G to grab and just kind of drag it over here. And then what I need to do is put it down here on the bottom. So what I'll do instead is just select my face video and hit G to grab and just move it up to the top. And so now if I press the space bar to play this, you can see my face is on top of the video. And if you'd like to watch my tutorial where I create the Copper Star Tunes fan art, and Copper Star Tunes is actually my brother's YouTube channel, then you can find the link to that in the video description. And if you're new to Blender's video editor and you want a complete introduction to Blender's video editor, I also have a video editing for complete beginners tutorial series. Link to that tutorial series is in the description. So I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.